Well, folks, I'm really, really excited um, to introduce a guest on stage um, to perform with us. Um, you know, when I joined Celtic Thunder, I was telling a few people earlier, um, you know, that I'd, within a week, I had come home from a five-month tour with Celtic Woman. Um, obviously, I wasn't one of the women in Celtic Woman. Um, the only show I've worn a dress in is Celtic Thunder. Um, <laughs> But I was, um, sorry, I didn't know there was people there behind the curtain as well. Hello. <laughs> sorry. Um, I come back on a Monday morning uh, with Celtic Woman, and I was in Dublin on the Monday morning, and within a week, um, because of different circumstances, because Ryan tragically fell into a coma, um, thankfully, obviously, now he's, he's everything's perfect and he's, and he's okay and healthy um, but at the time it was it was a bit of a scary time Cal Thunder and I had been called to audition for Cal Thunder for the new mythology DVD and then because Ryan had fallen into a coma I was asked then to go to Atlantic City so the way it worked out I'd arrived back on Monday morning from Cal Thunder in Dublin and the following Monday evening I was back in the States in Atlantic City with Cal Thunder so it was a bit of a whirlwind of a week and I went um, on tour, I was back in the States, back into a theater, um, and I just lived in the States in a hotel with 40, uh, you know, anyone who knows anything about touring, you become a family on, on tour. So I back into a hotel, back in the States, except this time when I got into a room, I didn't have the people that I've been phoning to go for a coffee or to go for food with. And, you know, I didn't really know anyone at the start of the show. And I remember going back into the hotel uh, into the room and the phone rang and I picked it up and it was George and George was saying listen uh, just going down for a bite to eat um, just letting you know if you want to join and that kind of summed up my relationship with George uh, over the next few years um, you know he was somebody who very much from the get-go took me under his wing um, the way it worked out then when I met Laura um, and our relationship evolved, I pulled a short straw of having to be the one to move city uh, and I moved over to Glasgow and, and it wasn't just George but it was George's family that took me under uh, their wings. And this evening it gives me great pleasure to be able to not just invite George's daughter but invite one of the um, most phenomenal uh, fiddle players in Glasgow as well that I've had the pleasure of hearing on stage. Um, she's certainly not here uh, just because of her relationship with George. She's here on her own merit as well. She's an outstanding player. I'm delighted to be able to play with her. So can we all show a very warm welcome to the very talented Miss Sarah Donaldson. Sarah has, you know, she's got a repertoire the size of a Mary Poppins handbag. Um, and we were trying to do our best um, to, to learn some of the songs for Sarah. So if we do make a few mistakes, um, you know, uh, I apologize in advance. Um, but um, Sarah's going to perform two pieces. I'm sure you might know a few of them. Um, with Laura, I'm going to perform with Sarah. And, uh, and then Sarah's gonna finish off with a few Irish um, jigs and reels as well. So we're really hope you enjoy it. The first one um, we're going to play are t it's two Scottish pieces. Um, Woohoo! I know, it's like, cause Sarah, I know where I'm wanted. Sarah's main repertoire, I know, is Irish actually, your main repertoire. And um, I have two favorite Scottish pieces. One of which I'm sure you all know, Mary's Wedding. <laughs> Now, I actually have an interesting story, and I don't think anyone will believe me, but um, my mum's good friend's mother was Mary, that it was written for, and I met her when she was 105 or something, and she died, she lived in Isla in Scotland, in the island, um, but that song was written supposedly for her wedding. And then the next one is The Sailor's Wife, which is quite an upbeat, fun piece to play. Um, and then the rest, I'm sure, uh, so you're all introduced, or, <laughs> or I could maybe do that for you. <laughs> Excellent. 
excellent. Okay. <laughs> I cut that a bit short there. <laughs> She's not bad, is she? She's absolutely terrific. I'm going to try my best to accompany her now in this beautiful piece uh, called The Swan. I hope you enjoy it.
So the last piece now Sarah is going to join us for is a combination of three different um, three different pieces, two different Irish styles of dancing. One is a jig and one is a reel. And um, I'm going to try my best to accompany Sarah again. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm holding her back now every time she plays this. She's a, uh, a sensational fiddle player. And um, we're going to be playing again for anyone who, I think people now here are probably going to be going to the Celtic Thunder show on Friday. So, see, we're just left with the, the rejects from the Celtic Thunder show. <laughs> people, people who were kicked out of that show come to here. <laughs> no, but if anyone is around on Friday and you can't go to the Cap Thunder show for any reason, we will be performing again and we might be throwing in a few new numbers as well. So um, before we play this, um, you know, we'll, we'll talk at the end of the show as well briefly uh, about our plans the next few days, but we're having an absolute ball. How about you guys? We've got... Are you done? Almost done. Well, I was going to tell you at the end of the show, I might as well tell you now, and then the end of the show will be quite swift. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so, people are, are coming up and asking about uh, the show with Emmett as well. Um, for our sins, we're going to be teaming up again. Um, we won't talk much about what's going to happen. Um, but that's going to be on the pool deck tomorrow at 4.30. Uh, so if anyone is around and <coughs> crazy enough to join us, you're more than welcome. And then the three of us will be teaming up again for Friday evening uh, for our final performance. So that's our music plan over the next few days. We've got a few uh, events here and there that I don't even know if I know the extent of what I'm expected to do. <laughs> The cruise, I just have somebody holding my shoulders, direct me around the cruise and saying, stand here, say this, talk to these people, sit down, see you later. And that's how it goes for five days. So that's all I know musically of what's happening in the next few days. But we're gonna leave, uh, finish up with Sarah performing. This is Castle Bray, The Red Crow, and The Whis... What's a Hicken Drive? Whis a Hicken. Oh, I should have read that beforehand. <laughs> What's the hicken? <laughs> How Scottish does that sound? Is, that, is it Irish? It's oh! <laughs> See, I knew there was going to be an American slag sometime. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this. <laughs> 